and welcome back to Mass Effect. Let's continue, and uh, I always make sure to reload whatever my last save was, just in case. Um, yeah, so one thing that I wanted to do here is to have... Garrus equipped with a better sniper rifle. Like this. Slightly better. And also, we now have anti-personnel rounds. Designed to shred flesh and other organic matter, these rounds are particularly effective against living targets. 20% damage versus organics. 20%, that's amazing. And armor-piercing rounds. Specifically designed to puncture metal, these rounds are particularly effective against synthetic targets. Doing damage versus synthetics. That is absolutely amazing in this case, because we're fighting Geth. Yes. So that's great. And... Uh, oh boy. So... The Geth are no longer there care of that guy in the tower, too. But, yeah, what's coming up is going to be difficult. Well, see, in this particular mission, as I mentioned briefly, we're not yet supposed to be on. This is, in fact, kind of optional content. Completely optional. You can skip this and go here at the end of the game or something. So the difficulty here is much higher. And also I'm playing on the highest difficulty I have unlocked to begin with. So this is more challenging than usual and basically two things are harder than they would usually be. But I'm surprised that this is going pretty well so far. And this will be a challenge. One of the two challenges in this particular place. That's right, we have a Geth Armature. Geth Armature, and we don't have the Mako because it cannot fit through. And we also have a bunch of Geth Stalkers, Ghosts, and even a few Snipers. Well, this is just wonderful. Um... Hi there! Um, can some of my guys help with that? Damping sabotage. Sounds like a good idea. No, not that. You. Arg. Yes, that works. Generally, I think I want to shut up. Because you. Uh oh. Why am I losing shields? I don't know. But this guy needs to get down. And I need to use barrier. I said I need to use barrier. Darn it. Please. Let's stop. 
for that. Uh -huh. Ooh, did not get the fire at me. Good job. Uh oh, how much blast? How much blast? <laughs> There, that's just cheating. Come on. There's one of these guys. All right. Got that. Got free manager out of that too. Nice. Okay. This is not a problem. And now I have the sniper to take care of. Which I did. There's an armature using his anti personnel rounds. Okay, and now the rest is pretty straightforward. Alright. Now let's use Dwarf. Ow, road. Seem to work all that well. Alright. Now. Okay, let's take an opportunity to heal. Got it. Now, what singularity work? Save first, and then try. No, it doesn't look like it. Ow. Hmm. Well, I don't like that, but I don't think I have a choice. I. Made. Sure did. You guys did not help. <laughs> Whew, okay. So that was uh, quite a bit more difficult than 
I expected. Well, actually, no. That was much easier than I expected. I expected to die at least once. But we did it. Wow. I am surprised. Alright. I'm sure there should be goodies around here somewhere. Item healed. I would like to have more Medigel. That implies having treasure. Game. Treasure. Where is it? Is there any? Hell of a place. Treasure. You cannot seriously tell me that there is no treasure around here. Because that would be really strange. Like, really? Really? What about up there? Yep, still nothing. Well... That's very rude of the game, but okay. Let's just go forward, then. Yes, let's save several times. I think it's so hot. Oh, hello there. Hmm. I have things in my equipment. Proof sighting 2, radioactive grounds 2, armor plating 2, combat sensor 2, motorized joints 2, armor plating 2, shield battery 2, and hammerhead rounds 3. Oh man. I can equip that. Much 30 weapons force, okay. And then I have. Um, what else did I get? Shield battery or something? Yes, shield battery too. And to me, that looks better for our team members. And. oh, yeah. Got improved sighting two and combat sensor two. Equip combat sensor two. Yeah. And then Garrus can also on his sniper add improved sighting two. That's rude. Oh. Okay, you guys. You know what? You guys can take. Bit of floating around. I think we're good, Shepard. Yes, I agree. All right, so we're in some sort of mines. Therum ruins. Ah, so we are in the Porthian ruins. Oh, Heatsink too. That's exactly what you'd expect a Heatsink to do. Hmm, no, 
doesn't look like it. the place. Alright. Well, let's take the elevator. Da, 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 da. What I need dead get a soul drone. Oh come on, I can crouch. Uh you guys should probably help. For example, how about sabotage? Sabotage this one, and you and you are blocked. Nice. Hmm. Damn thing. Nice. The tiles in those holes remind me of the bathroom floor. Hmm. That is true. <laughs> On your own. Here. All right, they have different things to say now. No, oh, we're still quite a ways up. Yeah, can I get up? No. Well, there's no real point to getting up. There is definitely a heavy gap. Unreal too much. Okay, I'm not seeing anything down there, so. It should be good. Is that mining laser controls? Huh. Security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Hmm. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! Hmm. Well, your mother is working with Sarah. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Uh, yes. We'll find some way to help you. There is a controller here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you get in here. 
Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Yeah, the Krogan with the Geth. The Krogan with the Geth is in fact the boss of this place. And it is a hell boss. The most difficult boss in the entire game, pretty much. Oh, I hear you and I see you. Now, why can I not take cover? And do this. Maybe this, kind of. Hmm. There's no good way to deal with this. Yet. I cannot easily tell where the enemies are. There's one. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, there's one. Well, stop getting hit by rockets. not clear at all. Come on. No, seriously. Come on. Let's uh, see if I can actually put some points in peace. Shotguns. Carnage. Yes. Awesome. So basically, Carnage uh, is a rocket firing ability. So now, not only they can fire rockets, but we can do that too. And for the rest, um, mm, let's see. Tactical armor would be nice. Uh, lift would be nice. And unity would be nice. Okay, I'll go for. for unity. Kaiden gets more electronics and lift. Yes, very nice. Whereas Garros gets. Hmm, assassination would be nice to have. But. Yeah, advanced overkill is probably more useful in this case. Alright, and I also got Hitsing 2, Recall Damper 2, Rio to France 2. Not super useful, but uh, good to have anyway. Alright, now there is a sniper, and I do not appreciate those. Let's see if I can do something. First of all, Garrus, get a sniper rifle. Okay, then, let's see if I can storm down there. Well, there's a laser in which we can enter a code of some sort. I know there's a sniper there. But where? Ah, oh, there it is. That did not work. How about you? Yes, thank you. 
That did not work either, though. That always works. Clear. All right. And now let's look at what this mining laser cope thing is. Uh, what? Oh, it's this thing. Right. Kind of a Simon Says type of deal. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left, down. Up. Right, left, down, up. Yes. Okay, well that works. I guess. Now I recall there being some goodies here, so let's uh, explore a bit. I hope there are goodies here. I'm not sure how the difficulty scaling works. Uh, they could also change the number of goodies that you find in the place, although that's not very likely because I'd rather expect them to, instead of removing objects, just make them give less stuff. So I still think that there should be something here. Something somewhere. Hmm. Ready to move. Ah, yes, there is. Common sensor 2 improves adding 2. Not super useful, but... Ah, weapons locker. No. No. Oh, no. Yeah, now I have to use Omnigel to override it. I get... kind of a lot of Omnigel back, so that's all good. Shotgun, sniper rifle, and improved setting too. All right. Another drill bit, but nothing all that terribly useful. Okay, let's go forward. Or, well, maybe not. I think that's a good stopping point and a place to read some more codex entries. And uh, now we are in combat, so let's read more about weapons, armor, and equipment. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The we inner layer hand consists hand. of Medigel is a common medicinal salve used by paramedics, EMTs, and military personnel. It combines several useful applications, a local anesthetic, disinfectant, and clotting agent all in one. Once applied, the gel is designed to grip tight to flesh until subjected to a frequency of ultrasound. It is sealable against liquids, most notably blood, as well as contaminants and gases. The gel is a genetically engineered bioplasm created by the CERTA Foundation, a medical technology megacorp based on Earth. Technically, Medigel violates council laws against genetic engineering, but to date, it has proved far too useful to ban. Need. Medigel. Pretty useful to have. And it heals you. All modern infantry weapons, from pistols to assault rifles, use micro-scaled mass accelerator technology. Projectiles consist of tiny metal slugs suspended within a mass-reducing field accelerated by magnetic force to speeds that inflict kinetic damage. The ammo magazine is a simple block of metal. The gun's internal computer calculates the mass needed to reach the target based on distance, gravity, and atmospheric pressure, then shears off an appropriate-sized slug from the block. 
A single block can supply thousands of rounds, making ammo a non-issue during any engagement. Top-line weapons also feature smart targeting that allows them to correct for weather and environment. Firing on a target in a howling gale feels the same as it does on a calm day at the practice range. Smart targeting does not mean a bullet will automatically find the mark every time the trigger is pulled. It only makes it easier for the marksman to aim. Yeah, so basically that's the explanation for why you have infinite ammo. Because you just fire uh, hilariously small particles from a metal block. So it's pretty much infinite ammo. Not completely, but it would take way longer than the entire combat to ever get through it. Alright, and we don't have anything in here, so let's just go through more information about the Geth, like the hoppers that we just had to deal with. The Geth models, collectively dubbed hoppers by Alliance forces, are electronic warfare platforms. They can project electromagnetic radiation across a broad spectrum as an offensive weapon. They can also perform cyber warfare attacks against the onboard computers of body armor, hard suits, and weapons, adversely affecting their performance. The structure of hoppers consists of an advanced and highly elastic artificial muscle material. This allows a hopper to compress its entire body for a powerful leap. Hoppers also have thousands of molecule-scale barbs on the surfaces of their hands and feet, which are used to cling to walls and ceilings. Hoppers are very difficult targets, leaping from one surface to another in rapid succession. The Quarians have no record of any Geth models similar to hoppers. This new morphotype must have been developed over the last 300 years by the Geth themselves. This is troubling proof that the Geth are continuing to move towards technological singularity. Experts in syntactic life are intrigued that hoppers appear to be even more organic than the baseline Geth. The identified subtypes of hopper have been codenamed Sapper, Stalker, and Ghost. Yeah. So they're basically support units. They hop around. They have jamming, and they also can use overload against you, which is super annoying. Uh, and they're hard to hit, because they hop around. But yeah, that will be all for now, and I will see you all next time. Later.